So of course, as soon as the cameras stop rolling for just a second, you go on a diatribe about Kristen Stewart and Renee Zellweger. Right. Well, okay. So let's talk about Kristen Stewart. Yes. <laughs> as an actress, she's awful. Yes. She got a great role in Twilight and cannot act. Yep. She's never done anything else since that's worthy. And she dates hot men. So like, she looks, great she looks stoned. Her. She can't walk. She can't act. She can't walk. Uh, she, you know what, she, what did they say? She twisted her ankle or had a blister or something. So that's why she was like <laughs> hobbling around, and she was supposed to be on crutches, but her crutches were never around. Blister. Oh. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, you're at the Oscars. Like, suck it up and well, go walk. Twitter exploded the moment she took the stage. I guess she couldn't stop touching her hair, first of all, and then she just looked like it looked like her mom forced her to go, you know, and she was <laughs> like, fine. Here. I don't want to be here. My be eyes here. are closed, and I might have taken some drugs or I'm drunk. I don't know what's wrong with her. <laughs> she couldn't talk. She slurred her words. It was her and, Ren and then Renee Zellweger. Yeah. Yeah, she looked really is, disinterested. But not only was she disinterested, she couldn't open her eyes. Yeah. It's like she's had a bad facelift and her eyes she's are... She's never been able to open her eyes. But they're worse than ever. She's always a little tiny... Well, like she's always had these little That's piglet the eyes. That's progression of plastic mm -hmm. surgery. Yeah, and now she just keeps getting pulled further and further yeah. and further no, back. No, she did look really unimpressed and kind of like, meh, when she was on stage. Yeah. It was it was strange. It was more than strange. It was awful. Like how did I'm, these I'm people a fan get on of people like that? Because they're bringing them down from the inside. You know? <laughs> oh. Bit by bit, they're going to start multiplying, and then everyone will be like, oh, "I hate being here. I'm super stoned." And then then people will just stop having the Oscars. Yeah, yeah. Get on with our lives. Catherine Zeta Jones mm -hmm. yes. was spectacular. Yes. And that gold lame dress with the see-through bottom. Yeah. She, no, she's a stunning woman. Uh, oh, she's lovely. She's yes. stunning, and she can sing, and she can act. And she married like a 950-year-old dude. Yeah. yeah, must be for the money. Uh, here's, here's the thing about performance, about the expectations we put on these people. And I mean, I, I don't feel bad for them. But, uh, but, but my, my daughter um, was in a movie this last summer. It was like just this fluke thing where they needed somebody and it worked out. And it was our first experience and probably won't do anything else like that again. But it was really interesting to watch her in some of these scenes, how long the days were, but like the, how many times they would shoot one scene, you know, a three minute scene, oh let's do it from this angle now, let's do it from this angle now, this and this and this and let's try it again, all for two minutes of the show. And so we're always seeing these very polished, even mm, well, yeah. even sometimes even if they're a bad actor, I guess, you can never quite polish yeah. it that way, but you're, we're always seeing their most polished work. Mm -hmm. And so, and then we Makes expect sense. them to get onto stage and be that polished person. And I, the reality is, I mean, we're not really being fair, I guess. You know? Imagine yeah. editing that though, and, and we've all, maybe Daniel, I don't know if you have, but all of us have been, you know, edited a little bit at least, or um, been in on our editing process with the work that we do. Imagine editing, that like two hours worth of a Hollywood movie from 42 different angles and you know uh, to make it flow and have the continuity it's I, I mean I, I have an appreciation for that for mm -hmm. sure but well, sometimes like uh, sometimes like with short films I've made and stuff uh, it's a lot easier to have more than less you know because sometimes there'll be the perfect take but something's just a little off but if you actually spent the entire day getting that same scene from a bunch of different angles then you can have the finished product the polished piece that you want and there's there's nothing wrong with it, right? Yeah, absolutely, but yeah. it doesn't mean like it's a, to me that's a feat. Like the, the awards for editing and ca like Argo's casting. If you watch to the end of Argo, they show uh, side by side pictures of the real people mm. versus the actors. Wow, that was I mean staggering how perfectly cast lookalikes. Like you couldn't believe. I mean it was amazing, amazing. And a lot of that too is makeup and hair. Uh, I mean yeah. they're all talented. All those people behind the scenes mm -hmm. that make the stars. But that's what the are. awards. You know, that's what the awards should be for. Who yeah. did the best of, and, and nobody cares about that, but really, no, like, that's, too bad. that's, ta yeah, that's where the talent lies, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, those, not, not to say the actors aren't talented. Those are the but awards that we don't see. Those are the yeah. ones that are shown on Saturday. No, but they yeah. did. They did the makeup one. Did they went makeup, to the, yeah. the girl in the pink hot pants. Yeah. For which <laughs> oh, right, that's right. Um, I think it was. They missed. They missed. Yeah, yeah, miss. miss. yeah. I think it was they missed. And I remember she went up in hot, pink hot pants, and I thought, really? You're nominated for an award, and you showed you up. You could win. You could win. There's a chance you could win here. You're, you're, you've been singled out in your field to the top five. 
and you showed up in pink hot pants. That's awesome. Fashion. That, I think that's I know. great. And that's yeah. what that well, That's like when uh, the but. South Park, one of the South Park guys got nominated for, for an Oscar, and so he and his buddy wore uh, hats? No, they wore, they wore <laughs> evening gowns. Oh. And they, oh, uh, yeah. they wore evening gowns, and the entire night they're, they're, uh, they made a deal, and their deal was we cannot make mention of the evening gowns at all, so people are going to ask about them, and when they do, all we say is, it's just such a magical evening, and that's what they did, and people <laughs> We're like what? What's with the what's with the gown? You know, it's just such a magical evening. I thought that was so that is funny. So something you would do. It is. So well, so I mean, see, that would be fun. If I was or then you start talking about the designer. Oh, because you wouldn't yeah. ask a woman. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why are you in a dress? Mm. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, it's Oscar De La Renta. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's yeah. well. I and love working with them. <laughs> yes. exactly. I think uh, we'll put the Oscars to bed until next year, and we have like just a couple of minutes to wrap up. Daniel, you wanted to talk about fancy underwear. We could talk about fancy underwear. Very quickly. Quickly. I go to the gym a lot. <laughs> okay. And uh, there is a problem, I think, with straight men not appreciating the amount of work women put into underwear. And you, uh, so you're, you're advocating on our behalf. I'm advocating on your behalf because I think men need more appreciation for their own underwear. And because they look their like, own underwear. Okay, yeah, because they don't understand the amount of work that women put in, they should put a little bit of effort into their own goods. I know you are very, um, what's the concerned about your own underwear. Oh, it's important to me. By effort, do you mean like sewing your name on the... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> actually going and picking stuff, stuff out instead of a six-pack of Hanes from oh. the <laughs> sellers. You're talking to the wrong guy. I'm wearing two pairs out of that six-pack right now. <laughs> <laughs> the same yeah, because so, they, yeah. they got saggy and... Well, yeah, exactly. They, you need some support. They have holes in different places, right? So oh, double, double up. This is tanky. Yeah, yeah this didn't go well. No. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> All right, well, you asked. You said you wanted to talk about uh, this I think in our round table. I think table. it's important, and, and it's, it's messed out on. A public service announcement from public Daniel service Perry. Public service announcement. All right. see it. Well, well, you agree? I agree. Thank you. you. Agree? I, I have no opinion on this, really. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's been fun <laughs> having you, Daniel. <laughs> it certainly has. Thank yes. you for filling in for Mitch, who was sick today. And, and saying uh, the exact same things he would have said. Uh, exactly yeah. the same thing. I, I, I try to channel my inner Mitch. <laughs> so when Mitch is here, it'll be the same. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we'll see you next week. Maybe not you, but you. Yes. <laughs> cool.